time and space the continuum of time and space is due to a stuff connecting both that stuff is called maya tattva in vedic tradition it is not there but it is there because the time and space both the dimensions do not have a clear border kind of a watertight compartment border no understand this very intensely for example if time and space put together is 100 meter consider an 100 meter cloth as time and space for some people 60 meter is time only 40 meter is space for some people only 30 meter is time 70 meter is space the time and space continuum and the way it exists as reality for you is not the way it exists as reality for others that is why some people are so excited to wake up in the morning some people feel oh god i don't know why i need to open my eyes listen carefully the outer world reality is perceived between certain frequency like i gave the example 20 hertz to 20000 hertz sound only can be perceived by any normal human being below 20 hertz or above 20000 hertz you can't perceive it you can't hear it just like the sound below the 20 hertz above the 20000 hertz can be heard by normal man but it can be heard by extraordinary capability same way this reality which all of us are commonly sharing with the word called world this is also between certain frequency for example we will give the same like sound 20 unit maya to 20000 unit maya it's only a example i am giving you between the 20 unit maya 20000 unit maya the hertz for sound maya for the reality i am using maya word as a unit for reality between 20 unit maya to 20000 unit maya all of us common human beings can experience it as world as reality if it goes below 20 unit or about 20 20000 unit you start manifesting powers listen if you unclutch intensely it will go below 20 unit maya you become pure intense if you go about 20000 unit maya you become pure devotion feeling connection but in both you experience oneness suddhadvaita sugabodham one beautiful thing 
this clarity whether you unclutch and reach below 20 unit maya or practice devotion feel connected and reach above 20000 unit maya you experience the same oneness sutta advaita sugabodham if i initiate you into power manifestation your whole body mind starts getting grounded in that one space sutta advaita sugabodha what you manifest is shak not ordinary siddhi because in our power manifestation the more you practice practice more you be, get grounded in enlightenment you can see our kids the more they manifest the powers more they get detox means more they get grounded pure settled enlightened the time and spaces continuum continuum of time space is intensity in the inner space subjective world it is dependent on continuity in the objective world listen in the external world which all of us are perceive in certain frequency like sound how between these frequencies it can be perceived by all of us there is some scale between this unit to this unit all of us can hear if it goes down then this unit normal human beings can't hear but if you start hearing the lower frequencies than the human possibility it's called power or the higher frequencies than the human possibility it's called power whether lower frequency or a higher frequency than the human possibility it's called power same way this world there is certain frequency which all human beings can perceive but that does not mean human beings cannot perceive the lower frequency or higher frequency the commonly stated range of human hearing is to 20 to 20000 hertz frequency same thing i can roughly equate even the visual please listen common human perceived time space i'll give a for example 20 to 20000 unit maybe instead of hertz i'll call that unit as maya 20 unit to 20000 unit maya all of us can perceive below 20 unit about 20000 unit anyone can perceive he is liberated from maya listen understand this truth i am giving you the example commonly all human beings can perceive 20 to 20000 hertz e r t z sound but that does not mean 
the possibility to hear lower than 20 or higher than 20,000 is not there. Don't think. Common range is 20 to 20,000 hertz. But human beings can hear more than 20,000 or below 20. It is possible. When you start hearing that, you start manifesting powers. So now listen. Just like this sound, Sabda Tattva, sound principle. Understand the Maya Tattva, the world you are enjoying, perceiving. 20 unit maya to 20,000 unit maya, all of us perceive as a common world. Anyone can perceive lower than the 20 units maya or higher than the 2,000 unit maya world becomes enlightened. It's a power. Understand? In the innermost core of you, the time-space continuum intensity is lower than 20 units maya. Listen carefully. That is why many times you do not know what is happening in your inner space. The time-space continuum is intensity-centric in the inner space, which is lower than 20 frequencies. That is why many times you do not know what causes your inner space, good or bad, right or wrong, inspiration or dullness. I am spelling some of the most wonderful, liberating, enlightening truth and knowledge. Anyone grasp the intensity happening as continuum in your time space inside the subjective space is liberated once for all from all the tantrums of your mind. Your mind is your boyfriend who just won lottery for few billion dollar or your girlfriend having heavy period. Boyfriend who won the lottery will not be, you will not be able to control. Girlfriend who has a heavy period, you won't be able to control. Both will throw tantrum. Both won't behave as they are supposed to be or expected to be, as agreed upon. Your mind your mind will stop 
throwing all tantrums if you can reach the continuum of the time space intensity which is lower than 20 unit maya through unclutching unclutching helps you to go to the lowest frequency of maya which common man cannot perceive and it helps you to go to the core continuum between time and space which i call as intensity and when you touch that space your mind stops throwing tantrum it will not throw tantrum once for all in your life you are free from your mind i tell you when arunagiri yogeshwara touched my ananda ganda and that is the moment i experience the universe lower than 20 frequency maya 20 hertz ma 20 maya frequency now whatever i am saying i'll tell them to make a beautiful documentary with a visual description actually if you consider time and space as a burger the inside the center filling is intensity in the inner world in the outer world the same thing is continuity so all of us enjoy between 20 to 20000 intensity continuity frequency up and down lower than 20 maya is pure intensity higher than 20000 unit maya is pure continuity any one you enjoy experience you are free from maya you are free from all delusion mind cannot throw any more tantrum to you the boy slowly walks towards a girl in a library and asks are you free today evening for a date girl screams loudly i can't sleep with you i am not that kind of woman boy felt very embarrassed and goes back after a few minutes the girl walks up to him and says did you feel embarrassed i am studying psychology so i know how to make people feel embarrassed the boy screams you dare to ask 300 dollar per night the girl was shaken boy slowly tells i am a lawyer i know how to make people guilty understand your mind is either a girlfriend studying psychology or a boyfriend liar it will become irrelevant when you taste the intensity lower than 20 frequency maya see the maya lower than 20 frequency means pure shakti same way maya higher than 20000 frequency means pure reality pure shakti para shakti pure reality 
Parama Purusha is one and the same. Either you touch Parashakti or Parama Purusha, you are liberated. 